Hey, it's your favorite ex-alcoholic and recovery specialist, and there are too many people I've worked with who actually have underlying mental health conditions like ADHD that are exacerbated by the alcohol that they're consuming. Alcohol is, you know, it, it, you know, when you're a healthy person, it could actually add some value to your life. You know, it can regulate your nervous system. It could help you ignore some of those thoughts that have been plaguing you so you can get some work done. It could help you chill just a little bit, maybe get you a little bit more inspirational and creative in low doses. And I say doses because it's a neurotoxin, it's a drug. When you're starting to feel funny, that's the drug kicking in. It's in your veins. It's actually embedding itself into the cells of your brain and body. That's why you feel that. That's why it's called under the influence. But then on the, the other side of that intoxication, when we drink too much, we are overdosing. That's what drunk is. If you've ever blacked out, you've officially overdosed. That is too much of a neurotoxin, a carcinogen, that is flooding your system. Your brain literally can't keep up, so it stops writing memories temporarily. Your consciousness literally leaves you because of that dose. On that note, man, there, alcohol is a casual thing, right? We just drink it for this, but for whatever reason. You know it causes anxiety, right? It's amplifying that thing you're trying to stay away from. In low doses, you're only gonna get a low boost of cortisol, so you're not gonna have that much more extra anxiety, but it's still not going away. You, you could drink for your depression, for, for your depression, but it, it is a depressant. It is lowering your mental health. So what we actually have to do is measure how important our mental and physical and spiritual and energetic and financial and social health is in contrast to the temporary relief we're gonna get from a literal poison. It's a gasoline. If you extract the alcohol, the ethanol, you could slide, set it on fire, it'll fuel your engine. If that is the type of continued approach you wanna take, then you're going to have to accept the fact that your life is going to feel unmanageable. You gotta remember, happy, healthy people that drink water instead of alcohol experience the exact same things that you do. The exact same things. They still have the anxiety, but they breathe through it instead of taking a shot or having a beer. They still get anxious, so they have a routine like drinking water and meditation and saying nice things that helps them chill out. They go to the gym, they do physical fitness, they go for walks, they go play soccer. They do all these other things aside from escaping the illusion that we've created for ourselves. They're not trying to get away from who they are. So the reality with these things is if you're about to lose your job, if your relationships are struggling, if you are saying mean things to yourself, you're having some, some awkward thoughts, you're sluggish, you're tired, you're lethargic, man. You're bored, right? There's no excitement in your life. You're struggling in your friendships, man. People don't understand you or you don't feel like you're connected to anything. You gotta understand that 85% of what you're experiencing is in one way or another associated with the alcohol that's in the cells of your body. It's in your body and influencing your thoughts and your feelings and your behaviors for up to four days. This is why when you stop drinking alcohol, and you're four days since your last drink, you are clinically, technically considered sober. And you cannot get more sober than sober, dude. Sober is sober, bro. You're just as sober as someone like me. I'm not more sober than you at four days. I haven't consumed in over seven years. There's no alcohol in my body. There's no alcohol in your body. The difference is I've had more time to design a life I don't want to drink through. I've had more time to design a brain, a body, and a soul that I enjoy being in and I don't want to escape from. That's what recovery is. So if you or someone you know is struggling and you're wondering whether or not alcohol has anything to do with the way you feel, the way you think, the way the world looks, man, your perspectives, your dreams, your diet, your, your weight, don't be afraid to check my page for more details on how I've worked with thousands of people and I'd love to work with you too.